56 seconds of logos. Comcast. Reading. Unemployment is extremely low. There's no crime and there are less poor people. All because everyone is allowed to murder people for a night? There may be some twisted weirdos that find this enjoyable, but I don't see how people being able to freely murder each other for a night would fix the economy. And I bet I won't get an explanation for it. Does this movie expect me to believe that the only crime anyone wants to commit is murder? I guarantee there's some white collar crime that happens during the other 364 days a year. If you're not purging, we advise you to get off the streets as quickly as possible. A purge advisory has barely changed from a severe weather warning, because murder is basically like a hailstorm. Also, this isn't set in some dystopian future. According to the text from earlier, this is only seven years into the future. I feel like there should be a few decades between not being able to pass reasonable gun control legislation and f*** it, let's just let people kill each other for a night. You girls up to anything fun tonight? I'm gonna kidnap Eva this year. Well, we're about two minutes into the film, and I think Eva should get a pass to murder Carlos. I can see how the purge caught on so quickly. This is a future where people kill each other for a night, and the iPhone 9S is shaped like a f***ing egg. Both the people and the government wanted the purge. The new founding fathers came into office. Were voted into office. Convenient radio that gives the audience some background on the purge is convenient. Our regime was voted into office nine years ago. And the first order of business was to deal with the epidemic of crime that was plaguing this nation. Are there people out there watching this billboard that don't already know this? Or is this just the movie's lazy way of giving me this backstory? And the first order of business was to deal with the epidemic of crime that was plaguing this nation. So, after disbanding our previous form of government, the first order of business was instituting a murder Christmas, because it was the first idea Mr. Talbot's 13-year-old son had thought of, I guess. You need some protection tonight? This guy's target market is the irresponsible procrastinator. <laughs> you. Also, I feel like this is what her commute home is like every day, purge night or not. We worship at the altar of Smith and Wesson. Why would the new authoritarian government allow this to stay on the internet? I'll take care of my room. I love you both very much. That was weird. Has any fictional character ever fully grasped when someone is telling them goodbye? But what the hell are they doing at the grocery store an hour and a half before the purge starts? Also, why is the grocery store still open? All the people at the diner were getting antsy about going home an hour-ish earlier. Yet these people are just getting some food like it's any given Tuesday. This goes on for some time. What the f was that all about? Liz forgot the purge was happening. Maybe that's why they were at the grocery store. If you're planning to kill someone, it's probably not the best idea to pin all your expositional documents and photos to a wall that can be seen from the hallway. Also, did he pin these items to the wall blindfolded? Or was he under the assumption that he would eventually have a lot more information and he wanted to give himself room? You can't go out there. Why is it the pictures that tipped her off that he was going out and not the bulletproof vest? Does he wear the bulletproof vest often? I feel like he wouldn't need to with the crime rate being what it is. Wait, is this the second wall of pictures and news clippings? With redundant pictures? Not only are the same two news articles on the other wall, but also the picture of the house. And the picture of him smoking the cigarette up close is the same picture directly under that. It's just zoomed and cropped. What does having two almost identical walls of pictures accomplish? Slow-mo shower to pad runtime cliche. The redistribution of wealth upward through killing has to stop. Maybe this is why more people haven't coalesced behind the guy. His buzz phrase skills are severely lacking. How the f*** is Papa able to dress up, then just casually able to walk out of the house with no one noticing? I mean, he had no clue his daughter would be taking a shower and his granddaughter would be busy watching anti-establishment porn. Why didn't this guy just drive to the other guy's neighborhood this morning, before everyone started to get purge ready, and just stake out his neighborhood until 6? There wouldn't need to be a reason for him to spend time and money to suit up his car and drive through a war zone. This guy must be a huge Punisher fan, and he didn't want to pass up this opportunity to emulate his hero. Just in case. We'll leave this gun on the table, so any intruder can easily access it. It's a good thing this chick showered so that she could look attractive for tonight's purge. Even though this line has been cut the whole time, the car was able to operate normally until this moment. Every Ford comes with a special wire that, when cut, will allow the car to work normally until no one is available to help you. It's a feature. They cut those wires, Shane. They cut those wires, yeah, but how did they know where to find them? If they were trailing them the whole time, we definitely would have seen them before now. Also, Liz's character is born from the screenwriter's complete lack of faith in the audience's ability to make any inferences. By the way, why did these guys park half a mile down the road just to threaten this couple? Do they really enjoy the sport of it? It's not like this couple looks athletic or can handle themselves, so what's the fun in the chase? Plus, we find out later they're kidnapping people to sell to rich purgers, so the f***ing f*** is up with this. And for those releasing the beast, a successful cleanse. Is releasing the beast a technical term? Or is some SEC school bro controlling her teleprompter? Holy sh**, how far away does Warren live? Sergeant was on his way to his house 45 minutes ago, and he still hasn't even made it through a near-empty city. I know LA traffic is bad, but damn. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity. Sergeant turns off the radio right after we have heard important info regarding the purge that we haven't heard yet. Any and all crime, including murder. Why do we need to specify the murder part? It seems the only thing anyone wants to do is murder. They should call out something that no one seems to be doing that would be more realistic, like looting. They're stuck outside on purge night, yet they decide to run into the middle of one of the most well-lit main streets of all of LA instead of f***ing hiding. What stage weapon is a flamethrower? I feel like that's definitely a stage four, but this guy clearly figured out that it doesn't f***ing matter what the blue scrolly screen said. There's no one out there to stop it. This is clearly their first slash last night of the purge. 
Any seasoned purger should understand the value of not being seen. What is the point of rigging up a door buzzer on your murder vehicle? Go. Oh, no! Let's just get out of here. Or maybe try a second dumpster? Wait a second, does this movie expect me to believe that they were able to outrun the guys with motorcycles, an unmarked ice cream truck, and machine guns on foot? How are they not totally murdered on that bridge? This is what happens when you only have one night to go on a murderous rampage. You lose your edge. Dear Stephen Kelly. Reading and narration. Also, Papa's letter is in all caps, and his voiceover isn't shouting at us. I don't understand. It's how the wealthy purge, baby. This flies right in the face of the last movie, when it was a bunch of rich pricks running around the city chasing a homeless dude, which led them to Ethan Hawke's house. These rich people need to attend the Dexter School of setting up a kill room. Also, why are Crocodile Dundee's machetes the weapon of choice for these people? They should have fancier weapons than this, right? Also, if they knew this was coming every year, why don't they have some special room in their home for a purging, instead of just doing it in the living room? They're gonna get blood spatter all over the ceiling and that nice crystal chandelier. Hey, it's purge night! Let's go look out the window! Is that what is it with the people in this movie and their opposition to hiding? You thought your little weak-ass protection was gonna keep me out or what, huh? Not with the birdcage buster. Yeah, but you totally lucked out on this, dude. These women have a gun. If they hadn't walked back to check on their dad, this probably would have ended already. There's an awful lot of following around and not a lot of purging going on right now. This is what you should have f***ing done in the first place. This is what he was looking for tonight. Big Daddy, we have two for your personal purge. Expositional henchmen. Just drive, just drive, just drive. This guy was clearly looking to exercise some vigilantism. It is highly unlikely that this side street is on the way to the house of the guy he wants to kill. The ninja henchmen decided it would be better if they didn't restrain these women at all. I guess hoping the flailing would wear them out. They were right behind us! The filmmakers decided it would drastically change the tone of this movie if it had a narrator, so they just gave all the narrator's dialogue to Liz. Holy sh how has nobody been killed already? In an effort to conserve bullets, Sergeant switches from that machine gun to his handgun because he understands that this is a shitty action movie and the henchmen will let him kill him one at a time. The guy in the murder truck is clearly still breathing. Just go ahead and finish what you started, dude. If I wanted to get out of the purge alive, I'd raid that murder truck for weapons, but I guess leaving them behind is an option too. Shane and Liz hop into an unlocked car, and neither of them look out to see if the owner of said car is coming back. Is this the only murder gang in all of LA? Where are the f***ers on the school bus from earlier? Why aren't they running into more f***ing people than just these guys? Jeez, how long does it take him to get this gun up and running? Maybe this time it's not a gun. It's a Wayne Slazinski shrink ray. 15 seconds and several dozen rounds later, everyone and their mode of transportation is still intact. You, what were you doing outside? Movie takes this moment to lazily pad the runtime instead of having this guy just tell them what he is doing. Gary? Whoever's in that truck is using armor piercing bullets. But the special kind of armor piercing bullets that just shoot car engines and not people. If they were regular armor piercing bullets, they would have gone through the car doors and windows, killing everyone. Shane, open. shut what up! Him. What do you want me to do? Quiet. It's purge night, yet we are all collectively deciding to yell in this alleyway. I guess it doesn't matter. There are only ten people in all of LA purging right now. You can take her car and do what you have to do. We all have that friend that lets people borrow your stuff. Eva is that friend. Make sure. Sergeant expects Eva to know her friend's phone number off the top of her head, even though no one remembers phone numbers anymore. What are you looking for? Snipers. Sergeant is worried about snipers, yet he's casually standing there in plain view, instead of saying something like, we should probably get back in the car, there could be snipers on these buildings. I am a one-woman f***ing plague and you're all in my path! Eventually, no one will be in her path because she's run out of bullets. Phew! That wasn't close. Go through the business district, stay away from the gangs downtown. In other words, go through the city the way you normally would. These characters continue to run into the only f***ing gang they've seen so far. We're gonna have people in front of us and we're gonna have people behind us. Well, that's some super general bull that could apply to any general situation. All of the purgers wait until Shane steps into the trap to start shooting at them, even though they were doing plenty of standing around earlier, making them very easy targets even without being trapped. NFFA pigs are wrong. They're f***ing Wrong. Movie is now too lazy to find an actual screen to show an expositional video, so they just put this video on a floating square and try and convince me it's some sort of video billboard. Also, this is what you get when you let Tyler Durden edit your propaganda films. So quiet here. Narrator Liz is right. This is worth noting. All crime is legal. Why aren't we hearing anything? Ignoring the fact that no one wants to do any fun crimes like stealing or vandalism, shouldn't the streets of LA be filled with the sound of gunfire? Is this district's always quiet on purge night. The banks move their monies. No one's ever down here. Why though? These people don't have any anger they want to let loose on these banks. Also, maybe the banks just said they moved the money. The misdirection worked like a charm. You're good with guns. I'm guessing you're either a cop or a criminal, huh? Because those are the only two options for a person who is good with guns. Isn't this whole society now built on firearm proficiency? I'm gonna stop talking because you're being an asshole, okay? Not because you told me to shut up. If anyone is an asshole here, it's Callie. She doesn't seem the least bit shaken up that she almost died and her grandfather sold himself to some rich people so they could kill him with machetes. Hey, remember that? I don't. Here hangs stockbroker David Neustadter. Stolen pensions, 
Now he's gone. You would think David would live in some wealthy gated suburb far away from downtown that would have really amazing security, making it hard for David to be hanging here. But you would be wrong about that because f you. Also, how the f can he read that? I'm right in front of it and I'm having trouble. He's on the f***ing ground and it's dark. Oh, man. This isn't as much of a jump scare as it is a fall scare. Traffic cams are controlled by the government. How did they get into these? I mean, characters don't assume that whoever owned this truck just hacked into the government system because dramatic irony is for suckers. But why is it all red? The government knew you were going to be in a movie, so they had to try and make it interesting. This is the only logical reason I can come up with. That's Carmelo's mark, Mom. Because Carmelo steals a few of his vigilante practices from Zorro. Also, this might be one of the laziest symbols for a revolution I've ever seen. We are almost an hour into this f***ing thing, and this is the first time we've seen a group of people actually doing something purgy. Was Sergeant just banking on this guy being stupid and unarmed? That was a real roll of the dice, and it seems like it paid off. I hope that's not sexual tension I'm smelling. That would open up a can of problems that I'm just not ready to deal with yet. Why'd you help us? I saw you. You were putting up a hell of a fight. Or they were the first people in mid-peril that he saw. One of the two. There's no air in here. There is definitely air in there. All of the homeless people decide to leave their decent hiding place to run directly in front of the people who will kill them more easily now. Shane got shot in the shoulder, and he still has enough strength in his arm to hold that gun steady. 30 seconds of just running. A traffic light camera wouldn't make that sound, but it had to so we would know the NFFA saw them on that camera. Even though immediately after this we see them responding to what they just saw on the camera. Why do we need these giant ass trucks for the government to kill people? Wouldn't a larger van do the trick? We are anti-purge in this household. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Daddy. No one in this house takes away this woman's wine. Why are we watching her take pills for a weirdly long amount of time? She's about to be dead in like 30 seconds, so spending time on this is completely worthless. Oh, what a shock. The safe anti-purge apartment they went to just happens to have a major family beef that's purge-worthy. Right at the moment the main character showed up. I mean, why didn't she do this a few hours ago? Did she know they'd take in some strangers who could witness this? She's dead. You killed your, your sister! Movie continues to have characters tell me what I have just seen. He has to be out of bullets now, right? Callie's reaction to Sergeant almost leaving is basically the same as her reaction to finding out her grandfather sold himself to some rich people to be killed. How'd they find us? Everyone forgot that they are using traffic cameras to watch everyone. They think he's gonna come back. What do we do if he doesn't? Stay put for three and a half hours? Find a closet to hide in? These people definitely have options besides running around outside with Sergeant. He shot me. He shot half my team. I want him dead. When they already know this, or did he wait to explain this until they got here so we could also hear what he says? What is this door made of that requires this giant saw that produces these unnecessary sparks? Are battering rams a class 4 weapon? This guy is so desperate to be a part of the action inside, he decided to go in, thereby leaving a spot on the perimeter that no longer is secure, giving Sergeant a way to escape. Annoyingly pointless GoPro shots. How did you find us? We got lucky. Damn right you got lucky. You lost them and found them three times so far. We're not purging tonight. We don't need to kill anyone. Yet they still decided to wear scary masks and wave machetes at people, even though that screams I'm gonna murder you a lot louder than I'm gonna kidnap you. What is this? How does he not know what this is? This guy is so dumb, I wanna punch his Friday night lights out. This rich guy is alone enough for none of his colleagues to realize he's getting the sh kicked out of him. This is why giant machetes are never as good as having a fing gun. Is it over? What does she think the rules are? If you kill enough other rich people that wanna kill you, you get to go home? I love you, I need you to know. <laughs> <laughs> also, this asshole got the drop on five people, and he decided to take out this guy instead of Sergeant, who passed the gun. <laughs> I just don't care. Freedom Fighters Ex Machina. Stop fire! We're here to help you! There's no way for Sergeant and the gang to know this new group is talking to them and not the rich people. These rich guy henchmen are just standing in plain view, waiting to be shot. Someone probably told them we have ten minutes left and we have to wrap it up. Also, these random shots of rich people getting blown away feel so disconnected they could have shot it in my closet. Wait, is that guy wearing my shirt? You want to tell us what we're doing here? Well, all crime is legal, as you know. But the only crime anyone wants to commit is murder, so he is definitely there to kill someone. You see that house on the corner? The house of this drunk driver is in the suburbs, so what the f*** was this dude doing driving around downtown LA the whole night before running into these two and getting involved in their lives? Two weeks ago I came here and I disabled his back barricade. And you think that between the time he did that and the day of the purge, he didn't think to check and then repair his back barricade? <sighs> Sergeant's future victim didn't check and repair his back barricade. Time is of the essence, and Sergeant is just tiptoeing around like he didn't just bust his ass to get here. Also, who the f*** cares if there are five minutes left? If you murdered someone 30 minutes after the purge is technically over, there would be no way to prove that it didn't happen during the purge. We found your car, Sergeant. Your plates told us who you were. It was easy to see where you were headed tonight. Yeah, but see this clock just before Sergeant left? It's 7 a.m. now, so why did it take you 45 minutes to track him down? Can't have heroes. 
So then why waste your time with this one dude who saved four people when there's a fucking militia in the city that's saving all the poor people and killing the rich assholes? <laughs> Guy who killed Sergeant Son and we thought was dead ex machina. You got a fucking car? Uh, didn't you just get out of a completely functional fucking car? Hospital's not far. We'll be there in minutes. Let's hope this guy isn't drunk this time. Good luck getting to see a doctor or a nurse or anybody. That hospital's gonna be fucking packed. I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! Garçon, coffee! Our soul means boy. Mom, are you okay? Come with me if you want to live. Stop. Have a time. I'm gonna laugh at you. No, They're no, all gonna no, laugh at you. Ah, what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! Truck 3, please respond. Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. What happened? Uh, hit a slight weapons malfunction. There's no car. Thank you. Bird trifling, basically. Kill an everyday working man and all. I mean, don't get it twisted, I do some dirt too, but I ain't never put my gun on nobody who wasn't in the game. 